instead of reducing the consumption of, for example, natural gas, by wearing an extra sweater or two during winter, we turn our attention to idiot hybrid or electric cars, which are introduced as one of the answers to our global warming problem, which is a problem, but not caused by humans. Do you see what I mean? We can reduce instantaneously our usage of natural gas by simply wearing a few extra sweaters. But we don't. We crank up the temperature in our houses during winter to 27 degrees Celsius because we think that is normal. This is an example of how we are our biggest enemies. Let me give you another example. In, for example, Spain, farmers sell their potatoes for eight cents a kilo. Those same potatoes are sold in the supermarket for 70 cents a kilo. Now, I don't want to ignore the middleman's profit, but understand that we are accustomed to paying such high prices that first, we don't know we are being screwed, and second, as long as we can survive, we really don't mind paying that much. An even slightly bigger example. Since the introduction of the election computer, where no paper trail exists, many doubts about the honesty of this system have been raised. Without a paper trail, it is impossible to verify the elections in a transparent way. Our political landscape is populated not by those chosen by the people, but by those who control the machines we use to cast our votes, turning our reality into a false reality, where whiteboard criminals, aka politicians, can change our world according to their agenda. We don't see how politicians are hijacking our democracies to introduce, without making waves, the North American Union. This is a union that consists of Mexico, the United States and Canada to become a borderless community with one currency, the Amaro. In 2008, President Bush signed the treaty. This will be the end of the United States, Mexico and Canada. Also the European Union, the African Union, as well as the Asian Union will eventually be governed by one global council, the New World Order. Earth is dying. We have problems. But at the same time, we amplify our problems with short-term and greedy solutions. If we would only be able to think as an individual or a group of like-minded people, we could tackle our problems. But that will never happen. Why? Because you think you are special, but you are not. I'm saying this with all respect for your being, but please stop thinking that you are special, because you are just as special as a cockroach in a restaurant. You have the potential to be special, but you probably didn't pay the price. Therefore, you are not. And this is how the global elite sees you, as cattle. If you will not use your intelligence, then you are no better than animals who do not have intelligence. And not only are you a beast of burden, but also the stake on the table by choice and consent. <laughs>